Hi everyone, it's Nikki here. Welcome back to my channel. I've prepared for this video a continuation on my Cups vs Grams video. And if you have been following my journey long enough, you might have seen this video. It's the most popular video in my channel right now. Um, it went over half a million views, which sheds a lot of light into the actual topic and the struggles that we all have when we are getting into baking and when we're trying to follow a recipe that uses different measurements. So I thought I would continue on this topic because um, I didn't quite cover everything that I wanted to cover. There are a lot of ingredients that I wanted to talk about which are not the most basic ones. So I will be covering those in this video and if you have any more suggestions, just leave them in the comment box and I will see what I can do about them. And finally, I wanted to say thank you for supporting the first video so much. Um, I'm very happy that it's getting um, shared and that people are finding it useful. I'm always happy to read those comments and I hope to continue making these informative videos for you guys, do the research for you. Um, and for that I need your support, so please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you find this useful. These are US measuring cups. This is really the essence of the problem. Um, if you look things up, you will get different results depending on whichever website you're looking at. So what I did in the previous video and what I'm also doing in this video is looking at a lot of results, kind of getting a feel of the average value that you get from the searches. And I'm showing you what I'm doing, how I'm measuring things and the result that I get from my measurement in my environment. And in the end, I'm giving you the most popular result that there is online. Unfortunately, there isn't one true value out there online. And this is really the problem with cups. So thank you again. And without further ado, here is Cups vs. Grams part two. <laughs> 